welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my very first spooky season makeup video and this is the first time I've done any type of Halloween or spooky season makeup so if you guys want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching so first and foremost I'm going to put on moisturizer because I'm putting on a lot of makeup in this video and I did not want to look too cakey so after moisturizing I went ahead and used my Fenty Beauty foundation and I just pumped that all over my face and then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out and I just want to point out that this foundation is my color it just needs to oxidize first so don't come for me in the comments but after I blend out my foundation I'm just going to go ahead and use my shape tape concealer and I'm in the color medium tan sand and I will also have all of this and every other product that I use in this video down in the description box down in the description box so once I go ahead and put on my, my concealer I'm going to blend that out as well and in this video you will notice that I did not do any type of contouring and that is because of the look that I am doing today contour wasn't needed so just pointing that out so obviously after I put on concealer I'm going to set my face and I'm using the Laura Mercier loose setting powder and once I set my face I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes and I'm going to use the same concealer and setting powder as I did before so to start off with my eyes I am going to use this Huda Beauty palette and I can't remember exactly which one it is but it's in the description box like I said and I'm going to use that orange color because this whole look is about orange and black like a pumpkin if you guys didn't catch that drift so um I'm going to go ahead and just pack that orange into my crease and on my entire lid and then I'm going to use my Morphe 335 something palette and I'm going to use the orange in that just to fold in that orange because the orange in the Huda Beauty palette isn't as dark as I would like it to be. So after finishing up my right eye I'm going to go ahead and start on my left but I'm going to cut that footage. So now we're going to go ahead and jump straight to my face. So for my face, I am going to use a white, what is this? I'm going to use a white eyeliner pen and I'm just going to start making like the little teeth or whatever this is called. I'm not really sure exactly what they're called, but I'm going to go ahead and start making those with this white eyeliner pen because I didn't want to do it in black and mess it up because I, I did actually do this three different times because it was not looking good to me because... Like I said, this is the very first time I've ever done any type of Halloween makeup, so it was definitely a struggle. So now that I have my entire mouth carved out, I'm going to go ahead and carve out my nose. And I don't really know what kind of nose I'm going for, but I just kind of outlined the bottom half of my nose with the white eyeliner. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my nose with some black eyeliner gel and I just got some really cheap eyeliner gel from Ulta because I didn't want to use something super expensive and I didn't want to use face paint for my nose or for my mouth because face paint is tremendously hard to get off and eyeliner gel takes a makeup wipe so I'm just filling in my nose now and I'm just making sure that looks good and that the white and black isn't turning gray because I did have that issue before Alright, so after I finish my nose, I'm just taking a small brush. I don't know what kind of brush this is, but I'm just going through and taking that black eyeliner gel and just going over the ends, like the little points of the mouth, so that way they look a little bit more, so that way they look a little bit better because it was, I did it really sloppy with the eyeliner because I was just trying to figure out how I want it to look. So now I'm just going over that. And once I go over the entire mouth, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my entire mouth with that black eyeliner gel again until my bottom half is completely black. After I get the entire mouth black for the most part, I take that small brush again and go through and do the points um, of the mouth. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my actual lips with the eyeliner gel. Um, sounds gross, but... I mean I couldn't taste it so it didn't really bother me but now I'm going to go ahead and just make sure all of the black is even across my entire face 
and um, just fill in any spots that I missed. So after I did that, I just went ahead and took that same orange that I used on my eyes and I went over, went around my nose just to add a little orange effect to it or whatever. Um, and then I went ahead and I did the exact same thing to my mouth, to the little in between the teeth or whatever, th whatever these things are called, y'all. I have no idea. But I went ahead and I just put little dots of orange in between each of like the little teeth. And then I went ahead after that and just blended it all out. So it had like a really nice shadow effect. That's what I'm looking for. It had a really nice shadow effect. So I went ahead and did that. So after blending out that shadow eyeshadow on my mouth, I went back to my eyes and I added some orange underneath my waterline and then I went ahead and extended that eyeshadow out to my hairline and then I don't know why y'all but I added random polka dots to my eyes because I thought it was cute and I was just doing stuff so after that I attempted y'all I attempted a wing liner because y'all know I don't know how to do wing liners but I really attempted it for this video because I wanted it to look good so after my struggle wing liner, I went ahead and just finished up um, my eyes by adding some more of that shadow to the top of my brow. And then I added some of the Fenty Stunner Lipstick and it's the one in black. And that's all I did to complete this look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. If there's something else you want me to try, please let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video.